So welcome to part four of putting the steel TS-400 cutoff saw back together. This should be the final portion of the initial build. There was an extra problem that came up that I'll discuss later and it will require actually this go to a fifth portion since I needed to still shoot that video. Hopefully you'll enjoy what you see here, but at the end of it there will be a running saw. Thank you. Ah, about the only thing left is the big nubbin on the front and this guy. That guy is supposed to mount on across these two. So which means I need to put that in. Which is this guy. This guy right here. So the rubber bungee, well, all I had left of it was the bottom plate. This is the thing that fits inside of here that puts it uh, in connection. Ah! Yeah, he thought it was cool. Things a little off. Wow, is that off. Okay, no wonder it busted it. That thing is way, way off. Somebody bent it. So I think I'm going to have to apply a great big freaking hammer.
Yeah. Yeah, that's got to move forward about three quarters of an inch. Let's get a pipe <clears throat> while we adjust its outlook on life. <clears throat> nope, not there yet. One more. Okay, that's better. Get a little pull backwards in a second here. Alright, that's better. Sometimes you gotta whack them with a hammer when they're old and beat up. Oh, I have a large and I think I have a small. I could have swore what I bought was the one that goes right there. Hmm, ain't happy with that. Blood of babies. Yes. Okay. 
I gotta grease this bucket so she slides. Notice how really easy that went in? Love that stuff. You can only get it from a place that sells Mercury products. It's called Power Tune. And it turns sticky after a little while. Thus making it really good for what I just did it with it. Okay, now I have the problem of that needs to be bent that way. Wow, is that going to be an interesting trick. I wonder how. I think maybe with a really big ass pipe wrench. Gotta move over just a hair. I wonder if I can just slug it with a mallet and bend it. Don't break what you just rebuilt. That might do it. Let's see. It says That's the other way. With that cover on it.
That's a dot. Well, now it looks like a saw. The only question is, will it actually run like a saw? <clears throat> and I should be able to run it. I don't think I got a big enough O ring for this. Because that ain't right. But I do need 25 to 1. Okay, we're gonna run this a little bit, or try to get it to run. But I'm gonna run it rich on the mix, because it's a brand new jug. I do not want to mess it up. And I only want to put about 12 to 14 ounces in it. So I want to mix 25 to one, 25 ounces to one ounce. Put one ounce of that in and add 40 to 1, I'm going to get a little rich, which is fine. And I'll use the synthetic. Mix a little premix gas into it. Okay, they call for 25 to 1 on this, which I find interesting. They want it really rich. On mix oil. All right. Okay. Let's see, she'll. Make some fire. Let me see if I got an O-ring big enough for this. Okay. Let's see if that don't do me some good. So, choke it. Now, pull it back to start. Choked. Compressed. And then we go outside and we'll see if it runs. Good as only we will find out how lucky we are. If we have any luck at all.
Well, that's perfect. Okay, on that note, I think it's break time. We gotta run so. Yay! Golf clap. And the kill switch works, which is the thing I was really worried about. Okay, on that happy note, that'll do. So, this being real life, um, there were issues. It's not evident because you don't see me putting a blade on it in here because I put it on afterwards. But I put a 14 inch diamond blade onto the saw and started it up and realized that the blade has about over an eighth, almost a quarter inch, I guess, of run out. And I started to look at it and either the shaft or the washers are no good in the front end. This is what happens when you take a junk saw and rebuild it. You keep finding things. So I have parts on the way and part five will show how to fix those things. But as you can see, it does run. It actually runs very, very nicely. It starts up pretty good when you figure out which way you gotta put the levers. So all in all, I'm quite happy. At the end of part five, which is coming, I'm gonna go over exactly what it costs to put the saw back together and a was it worth it discussion. Thank you very much. Please like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you like to do, throw rocks. I'm used to that. Thank you much.